Okay, Rabotai, Rabotai, um, um, I'd like to uh, present to you a, uh, again, Baruch Hashem, I was um, um, with Felix this morning, he took me in, took, we were driving for like an hour, Baruch Hashem on the road, and I asked him a question, and I got to tell him a special, I was like, guy, he pretty much got close to the answer, like this, Rabotai, there's three people that, there's three people that the uh, son stood for. What was those three people? Anybody know? Felix, you know. You in the car, Felix. Chavod. Very good. Moshe, Yoshua. Who was the third? Nagdimon Ben Gurion. Very, very good, Isaac. Very good. Nagdimon Ben Gurion was the third. So my question that I had, my question I have, it says, look, I understand Moshe. Moshe Rabbeinu. I understand Yoshua. Yeshua was the student of, uh, of what's it called? Of uh, Moshe. Moshe is a great man. But what zechud did Nakdimon Ben Gurion have? What zechud did he have? Mike, you have an answer for me, Mike? Ah. Ah, what'd you say, Tal? What's the answer? Don't you? Give me the answer. You have the answer? Chavod. So I'll tell you like this. In order to figure out this answer, we have to go see what's the common denominator of all three people. What is the common denominator? So let's look. Why did the sun stand? It says, the sun stood for Yeshua at the time of war. When Klal Yisrael needed it at most, when Klal Yisrael was going out to war, Hashem made a miracle that they were able to beat the war, the sun stood up. As well, same was Moshe. When Klai Yisrael was at the war front, Hashem, for Klai Yisrael, he did it. I and the same by Nakdimon. Nakdimon, you have to understand. Why did the sun stand up? He says, because we understand that it happened to be Klai Yisrael needed water. Klai Yisrael needed water in, in, in the time of what? Shlosh Regalim. Pesach, Shavuot, Sukkot. They got to, to Jerusalem. They got to Yerushalayim. They did have water. So he put it on the line. He says, Hashem, please, I beg you. Give. Oh, so he met the Goy. And the Goy guaranteed, okay, fine. Here is the 12 wells that you have for Klai Yisrael. But if you don't pay me this in this time, then you're going to have to pay me a lot of money for it. Let's say a million dollars for it. And he put the money on the line. So he says, I, the day came. And when the day came to pay, it did not rain. It did not rain until the last moment it rained. And after it rained, what happens? The guy says, it's too late. It already became night. It is all, it's all sky. The sky is all cloudy. And, and it's nighttime. Hashem made a miracle. He moved the clouds. And it was sunny. He says, no, it's still day. He says, really, in essence, you know why it stood for Nagdimon Lechora? Because... He did for Klal Israel. He guaranteed his money for Klal Israel. He says, I'm guaranteeing that if it doesn't rain at this time, at this date, that I will pay that amount of money. But why did he do that? He did it for the Jewish people. He did it for Klal Israel that they should have water. Hashem says, you're doing for Klal Israel. You're helping out the whole entire Jewish nation. I will hold the sun for you. You know why? Because we learned in Mesechet Ta'anit, we learned over there that when the times of the Beit HaMikdash, when we were giving the Korbanot, there was a special Mamadot prayer. What, what would they pray? What would they say? They would read the Sefer Torah at the moment of what we were giving the Korbanot, right? In certain towns, right? The Mamadot. What were they reading? Bereshit. When I asked, why are you reading Bereshit? He says, because the whole world was created, what? For Klal Yisrael. And if Klal Yisrael doesn't exist, there will be no world. The Korban is having Kaparat of Onot of Klal Yisrael. So therefore we're praying, Maaseb Reshit, let the Korban go through, let Hashem accept our Korban in order for the world to exist, in order for Klal Yisrael to have Kaparat so the world can, can, can exist. So that's why the same point by Nakdimon. Nakdimon put in his line for Klali sale. He put his he put all the, basically a lot, a lot of money for the Jewish people. You do for the Jewish people, Hashem says, I'm gonna show you right now, I'll change the entire nature, I'll hold up the sun for you.